Hello everyone, welcome back to Stardew Valley Competitive Multiplayer. Here we are again, another episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for everyone getting involved in the comments. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, me and Pox are having a blast here. And we are getting through this. We are so close right now. We are officially past the halfway mark. It is the 11th of fall. And yeah, we've got quite a lot to do. Our pumpkins have still got three days. It looks like we have got an oak resin. That means another keg. Very nice. And we've also got some wine. So this is exciting. We've got a lot of stuff going to be kicking off. And my plan today, like I said in the last episode, if you didn't watch that, make sure you go back and do. I'm going to go ahead and get a shed. And we're going to place this somewhere down here. Oh, we've got a lot of oak resin today. Yeah, it's going to go in the corner here. And I'm going to fill it with kegs, jars, a mixture of both. And get even more production on the go. So let me just water these uh, fall crops right now. This is just going to help me craft more fall seeds. So we can make tea saplings. Obviously great money. A little bonus every time. Added on to all of our stuff that we're making. We made a couple of hundred thousand so far from the tea saplings, which is really, really nice. It's money that we never would have had if I didn't do this. We do have rain tomorrow, which is nice. Uh, a storm. We've got more pumpkins growing down here, which is exciting. I do want to expand this a little bit more if possible. And also, I want to go to Robin. I want to buy more stone, more wood. So we can actually craft preserve jars and more kegs if needed. And of course, we need the wood for the shed as well. And 15k, which we've definitely got. In the last episode, we sold a lot of things and we made a lot of money. I really would like some coffee, a coffee plant. Because getting that little bit of extra speed, it would be really, really handy to be fair. We've got some eggplants that's produced. Is these artichokes? Nice. This is from the mixed seed, so it's all extra. I think the artichoke plants are really cool in this game. They look so nice. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to move all of these kegs that are not producing right now. Because they're going to go into the shed. And I'm going to extend the field with more pumpkins literally when these are ready. And we'll be able to go a little bit further down. So, let's move that. Yeah, it would be nice to have all these organized in a shed. So, 15k. We've got the wood already. Let's just double check that we've already got that. Yeah, look guys, we can build this right now. Oh my god, let's get a shed. This is exciting. Gives us way more space on this farm. It's not the biggest area, so this is exciting. I wonder what Pox is going to think here. He's like, what? He's got a shed? Can we tuck that away? Like, right in the corner like that? That's kind of cool. Still saves us a lot of space then, right? Let's do it, and it's instant build, of course, and it's just popped up. Shark has built a shed. Ooh, let's go. I am well excited about that. So kegs are going to go on this side. And preserve jars on the left. I think we're going to have a little bit of both, guys. A little bit of both. So once all of these have, like, preserved, I might move these as well. Especially all the wine. And we do have more oak resin now. So I can actually craft more of those as well. So that artichoke is getting sold. Sell, sell. Um, sell. Yeah, we need wood. We're going to go to Robin right now. Uh, hopefully she is open. Because we seriously need to go ahead and do that. And then we might need more coal as well. Let me just check the resources. Um, coal is 26. That is not a lot at all. Yeah. Let's go do it. I know we've got no stone at all, right? We used all of that for the preserve jars. Which I'm going to craft even more. It's a great start to the episode though. A shed to fill out with... Um, Machines and, you know, kegs and jars. Oh, it's going to help us really expand. Hello there, Robin. Oh, I still did not get the the mod, which Robin sells hardwood. I completely forgot. So that's 99 wood, and I might do the same with stone. So much money, I know. And you're probably thinking, what are you doing? But it's going to be worth it, guys. We're still going to have a lot of money left over for pumpkin seeds. Or any other seed that we may need. So the other thing that we need. I don't think we're going to make it in time to get some coal. But I can smelt a lot of the wood. It, well in the charcoal kiln to produce coal. It does use a lot of wood though. If possible. I could do with going into the forest. If all the trees have like grown. And get more wood that way. That would be really good. 
Uh, we still need the free fire quartz for, for the lava eel. I've got to get this wine on in this shed. We can't mess around. It needs to stop brewing as much as poss possible. How can I make two kegs because we are out of iron bars? Oh no! Oh no, no, no. Well, we have got iron ore. I'm sure we have. Yes, we do. We've actually got a lot of copper as well. So let me keep smelting all this whilst I go down and put the wine on. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to go and chop some trees down if possible. Still got free oak resin here as well. Now, we can actually get rid of these as well for the hardwood, which is good. We can remove them now. Right, this is looking exciting. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It might not seem much to you. But it's a lot for me. I think that'll do me. We've got one stack of 999 and another stack of 121. Nice. The iron should be done. I'll put some more on. Pox is back on the farm as well. We've got so much blackberries. But you know what I mean, guys? That stack sells for 1,210. You know what I mean? That's, that's good extra money right there that you wouldn't even think is worth much. Right, this keg's now done. That's going to go into the new shed tomorrow. Iron's done. I might be able to craft some more kegs too as well now. I can make three more. That's four kegs, baby. Now we just need more oak. Okay. Oak resin and iron, of course. Let's keep the iron pumping out. Some more jellies done. I'll keep the ones in the house. They can definitely stay there. Pox is in bed. So am I. Okay, we didn't sell oddly anything, but we are stocking up. I like to get a big, massive harvest of things, big produce, hoarder it all, and then sell it as one big thing. Normally, at the end of each episode, I'm going to keep that pattern, I think. So everything that we've made in this episode will be sold again on the last day, which will be the 15th. Okay, so now we need the straws again to start putting into here. Yeah, that's all of those on. Nice. The pumpkins need to hurry up. Okay, here we go, guys. It's getting exciting. We've got another one. And another one's done. What is he harvesting? Is, pu is pumpkins done today? Has he used to speed grow? <gasps> no! Cheeky boy. Oh, Super Cucumbers want two emeralds now. Yeah, this is not good. He's got his pumpkins so much sooner. I think I'm going to do that on the next harvest. We'll get another lot of pumpkin in, but a lot sooner. So he's already starting with the pumpkin juice, which is scary. But let's get another lot of these down. We've got even more of these melons. And I've got some apples now as well. Get apples on the go. There we go. That's looking a lot better. So it's going to go... Let's... So ours are all done. These ones are done in 10 days. We bought these a little bit sooner, right? And these ones are done in two days. Wow. Taking some time. That's going to put us to the 14th. And that's going to give us 14 days left. And how long does a pumpkin take? Oh, ancient fruit. Oh, we need to craft another a keg to get that on the go straight away. Yeah, if pumpkins take longer than 14 days, we're screwed. But I don't think they do. Oh, there's more iron. Nice. Let's get another lot on. We've only got enough now for one more. And then it's going to start being the copper. I'm going to go over to Pierre's though. Buy some seeds. 
This pot's going to go this way. No, I need the wild plum. And all these hazelnuts. We need them, guys. We need them. Trust me. It could be the difference. 70k. Plus what we're going to sell right now. So, let's sell... I'll sell all those blackberries right now. We don't need all them for now. I'll sell the wine too. Let's have a look. So, pumpkins take 13 days. So, we can actually get a harvest in before. Because they're going to be doing two days. So, yeah, we should be fine with that. We've only got normal speed growth. It takes 10... 10%. So, 10%... Of 13 days is 1.3 days. It's going to take one day off just by using the speed grow. And we've got the recipe for the deluxe speed grow, but that's oak resin and coral. Yeah, maybe we can get some speed grow on the next lot of pumpkins. But we'll wait. Well, we've got to really wait for the next ones to, to grow. But what I'm going to do is get some fairy rose, fairy seeds. These are a few hundred. But if I do like five or six of them and i just want a bit of fairy rose honey you know it's not a lot it's just going to be a little bit extra but it is raining today which is quite frustrating because i love fishing in the rain but we've already had a late start so i need to go back deposit some stuff and maybe have the evening and night but we've missed the whole day really and that's not good i can make another keg wormies they're never worth getting more God, I've, I've literally done the whole museum at this point. Or the whole library, should I say. Oh, look at this. Let's go. Right, we've got some row that we can put on. We've got some pickled stuff that we can put in here. Do some apples. We'll do some cranberry jelly now as well. Got a little bit of these to use. Start making different things. And that's all them taken care of. I'm actually going to build another chest for the shed. So I can store things in there. Right then. They are still producing. Right, this one's done now. And all of these preserve jars. Nice. So let's take that up. Let's get all of these. Be good to move them all into one place though. Let's get the pharaohs down. I can literally just plant them like here. And they will grow lovely. 12 days. Oh, we're not even... We might not even get any fair rose honey from that, to be fair. We should have done that at the start of the season. That's my bad. Right, shed. I want a chest at the front here. And then we're going to get some preserved jars on this side. Kegs. Ancient fruit inside there. And we've got one more keg to go here. Let's put pomegranate in there as well. Okay, the wine's all brewing inside here. We've got to get some blueberries in the preserve jar just to get doing something. Let's put the blueberries in there. Everything that we produce can go in this chest as well now. Okay, so they are on the go. They are. So I want to see if I can craft any more preserve jars now. The only problem is we need some coal. Big time, we need coal. And we've only got 14 of that, which is not good at all. So let me get the wood. And let's make some coal. I'll buy some more tomorrow, but at least I can make some as well. Melon wine's done in two days. Pomegranate wine. So we can make three more so far. Let's keep doing this with the coal. Can make another one. That's five more. Nice. Five. And then we'll make one more after this. And we should be good. So that's going to give us six preserved jars. Extra. Let's go and put these down. Oh, look at this. We've got three more as well. Because these are all produced. Which I do want to move. That's looking good. So we've got eight preserved jars to put into here. This is really going to set us up for winter. Nice. Can I just make it in time? Let's put more blueberries. The only thing we've got right now, like in abundance, we've got strawberries for the house, but blueberries everywhere else. Let's head back. I think we've just done it in time. At least everything's 
preserving and aging or whatever brewing, making the wine. We should be good. So when these pumpkins are done, I am going to get even more and I'll make sure they are done in time. But I'm going to expand it. So we're going to have a massive field on the top bit and even on the bottom. It's all going to be pumpkins, which I can make so much um, pickled pumpkin or pumpkin juice throughout winter. Or just selling the gold quality pumpkins as well. Okay, these are still all doing this. Nice. Oh, and look at this, guys. Even more kegs today, it seems. That is the five that we needed. And then if we go for five of them, five of them, we might not have enough wood. We just have enough. Lovely. And have we got enough for a preserve jar here? Oh, we do. Cheeky. Still got more time on the pumpkins, though. Already getting some normal wild honey. Nice. This is extra income. I mean, it's only going to sell for 140, but yeah, I'm going to have to water these as well. Even if it's just one and we can sell the fairy rose on their own. But we're not going to get much from that. I right, will have to take care of these ones as well. At least we'll have more in nine days on this side. Like I said, I probably will expand this as well. I might even work on this today. We could get more pumpkins in today. Wormies! Right, looking good. So let's get more kegs. It might have to be blueberry wine for a little while. I know the pumpkins are going to be done, but at least get them started for a day. Check on the greenhouse. I'm sure we'll have some stuff to harvest. But then, like I said, I do want to kind of expand this a little bit. Seven sprinklers we need to buy to extend that bottom bit and I'm going to get straight away some pumpkins straight in there. And we don't need fertilizer on them ones, they are just going to be ready. I could take a day off if I wanted to. We could just get some speed grow just to take that one extra day so we get them a little bit earlier. Which is probably not a bad idea because we need that pumpkin juice as much as possible. I really should have put some fertilizer on the first lot that went in. So they would have been done by now. Alright, so yeah, bought loads of pumpkin seeds, loads of speed grow, ready for the next. I'll use some for the bottom, then whatever's left over, I can plant obviously straight away when the pumpkins get harvested tomorrow, our first lot of harvest. We should have a lot of crops, a lot. We really need these to hurry up though, real, real bad. Straight away, no messing, I'm just going to get these straight in the ground. We've got the space, let them start off. There's no point wasting time with that. I did notice that one got struck by a lightning, I think, here, which is annoying. So let's just get that one back in. Oh, another one got struck by a lightning. We are not doing good with these. All that profit just gone like that. I quickly want to put these seven preserve jars down here as well. Get them ready. Nice. It's looking good in here, guys. It's looking real, real good. Get more blueberries. Should be putting strawberries in there. I'll do that in the next lot. But we have got blueberries down here. So just kind of using them whilst we've got them. We've got one more sprinkler, which is, like I said, it's actually up in the chest. So go do that in a second. But let's expand this field. And the other one's going to go there. Let's get speed grow down. And obviously, we've got a water as well. Oh my god. You can add speed grow on these already and it's going to take it to eight days. Are you kidding me? I didn't know you could add speed grow on top of crops already, guys. What the hell? This is taking a day off already. I didn't even know we could do this. I thought once it was in the ground and that's it. Or is that just fertilizer? This is incredible. Oh, don't put them on them. Don't put them on them. 
These are going to be done a little bit sooner now. Well, that makes me a lot happier. Just get these pumpkins in quickly, and I've got a water. I did not know that. Love that. It's going to help me out a lot. If I'd known, I'd have done it sooner, but I don't think it really matters when, it seems. As long as you just add it onto the crop, it's going to take it off. Imagine if I didn't know that. I didn't already know it, but I just figured it out. All right, we're going to have... A lot more pumpkins in the ground. These are going to take 11 days. Nice. It's already took, like... Is that two days off? It sh should have been 13. Incredible. So it takes two days off when you put them on right at the start. But yeah, we are... We're looking good now. The new ones are in. The old ones have got a little day start. We need to go and get that other sprinkler, which is at the top. We've still got 73. Yeah, if we have a look, these are done in one day. I can't literally put this onto there. Because it still says one day, as you can see. It's a bit pointless, but it's on the new ones. Right, we've got one in there. Nice. And we've still got 184 seeds, which is going to basically be filled here. And I'm going to reorganize this. As you can see, the sprinklers are too close to this side. It's all going to be even. It's going to be flush to the wall. And the next lot of harvest is going to be perfect. Right, this one could just go up here. So we've got another big crop field down here, guys. It's looking amazing. Right, we can still add some speed grow on this that I've missed. You know, we kind of want it all synced up. This one's not got water down here. Boom, boom. Right, okay. Real good. We're looking good. This plot here is going to go all the way down to the bottom. Probably get another row of sprinklers in there. Another row of sprinklers in the right side. And then it'll be even because I can go right to this edge here. So I'll keep them in there. In fact, they're going to be ready tomorrow, the pumpkins. So I may as well just keep them there. Big harvest tomorrow. Right, that's those in. Let's sleep. Looking good. Right, and here we go. Big day ahead. Big day ahead. And there we go. Beautiful pumpkins, guys. And because the soil's watered and it's already here, the next lot is going straight in. And if I need to buy more, I can buy more. I love the looks of these pumpkins. So cool. Having a big harvest of these is the best thing ever. Is he harvesting more pumpkins? This is going to keep us going through winter so, so good. I'm only selling gold quality. I'm keeping normal and silver. Because we're going to need as much as possible. It's crazy that me and Pox are basically using the same crops. Like, I thought maybe one of us would have been different. But the crops that I wanted to go for, Pox has already gone for as well. So, like, the strawberries at the start, the blueberries, and the melons. You know, no one's gone with the hops. No one's gone with weeds and making money, uh, like, beer. Nothing like that. It's kind of like we've done the same thing. So, we need to sort this out, guys. But these are still producing, so this is actually quite frustrating. Because I need these to move across. Because I can't dig soil on this tile here. And the sprinkler needs to go here. But it's not going to water that side at all. Oh, this is quite bad. I don't want to just stop. The wine's done in one day. And I need all this to go as well. But these are pumpkins in here. Cranberries, eggplants, but it is a waste. I need all this to come over to one side, guys. This is frustrating as hell. <sighs> I can't stop all this wine. Melon wine's so valuable, it's done in a day. Oh, no. The sprinkler needs to be there. So, hold on. We can actually still kind of work around this. That's where the sprinklers should be going. Some of these are fine. So that's where they should be going. I need a perfect layout for the next harvest so I can get as much as possible, guys. And I might need to go and buy more seeds just in case. In fact, I definitely do. So before Piers closes, I'm going to go ahead and buy more seeds. I think them left crops have got to go. Some of them are corn and things like that and eggplants, which I don't really care about. The profit's going to be... Or the money's going to be in all of these ones, so... In fact, I'm pretty sure that those ones are actually okay. So them ones can stay there like that. But the next ones are going to be here in front. Oh, pumpkin's right there. 
But the sprinkler's got to go. It's a waste. I'm going to go and get some pumpkin seeds first and I'll finish this off. It looks terrible right now, but promise, bear with me and it's going to look much better. I've got 51 pumpkins that I'm going to sell right away straight to Pierre. So we can get a bit more money to actually buy things. So sell, sell, sell the honey. Should I just sell the silver ones for now? For that money? Alright, that's that. Let's get back and sort this mess out quickly before it's too late. I can't mess around here. I bet Pox is walking by thinking, what the hell is he doing? His sprinklers have all gone. I just gotta change this layout. It wasn't very efficient. The space wasn't used very well. But I think this time we can do something, guys. So, let's get these sprinklers where they need to be first. Oh, I think it just perfectly goes there. Now, look at this. It's so much better. We're getting more space out of this. I didn't have to delete those crops on the left. It's kind of worked out lovely. But planting crops on the right is not going to really work because of the kegs. So, I'll start with the left side and we'll just see what we can do. We might have to do a little bit of water in here. Oh, sprinkler goes up here as well. Which we've not got any. We need to get more. Yeah, a little bit of watering because we did this, but it's fine. It looks so much better. And I'll put the speed grow on top. Right, sprinkler, you're perfect there. I will be expanding the, the soil downwards in a second. We just have to water them myself. I'll have to get the sprinklers tomorrow. This was a mess. This was a real mess, but it's something that I wanted to do. I wasn't happy with it the first time. Okay, let's quickly just go down a little bit more. This is so stressful. I hate this so much. I really hate this so much, guys. I hate playing Stardew competitively. It's so tense and you've got to do everything so fast. Right, this has got to go down as well. We've got to get all this down to take them two days off. And then just water in those gaps. It's going to be a night where I pass out on the farm today. I've got no choice. Let's water quickly these ones that are missing. But at least the sprinklers will cover all those for us in the next day. Shouldn't be a problem from now on. I wanted to plant some more at the bottom. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. This is horrible. I've not even checked the greenhouse today, guys. This has been absolutely unbelievable. Maybe I should have left it how it was, but I thought this was going to give me more space as well. Oh, come on, I know it's getting late. I know it is. Just bear with me, please. I can't even see very well. I cannot even see what I'm doing. But look, we've got even more. We've got even more now. More pumpkins, guys. More pumpkins. Can I get another row in here quickly? So I need four sprinklers tomorrow. Oh! No! Water! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Right, is there any more? Any more watering that I need to do? Uh, can't see, it's so dark. Right, we're passed out. I don't know how that went, but you know what? We've still got 32 more seeds. Even if I plant some today, we should still have time. For the harvest at the end. Oh, that was awful. My eyes are stinging. I was so, like, just glared at the screen trying to get everything done. But it's all good, guys. We've still got things making. The money still sh should be rolling in, hopefully. Yeah, I didn't check the greenhouse, but we can do that today. Lots of stuff to be produced here. We're running low on strawberries. I need to harvest them and keep them all. We've got so many kegs now. Uh, yeah, okay. Did we do bad? These ones didn't get water to the top right here. Of course they didn't. I really need this wine to be done, guys, so I can move it. Well, these are done in 10 days. That's going to be the 25th. So, plenty of time. No stress. Just go get four sprinklers today. Which is 3, 6, 9, 12. Just got enough for that. Yeah, it's a big field, right? Absolutely huge, guys. Absolutely huge. It's incredible. I can't forget all of this as well. And this is the thing that we've got to take into consideration here, guys. We've we've still got crops down here. Do you know, like, 
it is crazy. They're going to be done in 11 days. Still plenty of time. We are going to get a harvest out of that. This is unbelievable. So many pumpkins. Right, kegs. Okay, we've got... Didn't we pick one up that we've got to put in here? Yep. Yeah. And also, let's see what this is going. Yeah, this is looking good. And then what I'm going to do straight away is put a pumpkin in there. Start getting our first pumpkin juice. We'll put all of those in there just in case. Okay, looking good. Even more of them today, hopefully. We'll fill them out even more than we can. So, yeah, we need some sprinklers, right? Uh, I've got one of these as well. I'm tempted to expand this even further this way. But I just don't think we're going to have enough money now. The money that we've got, we've got 15k, is basically... We're going to have 3k left. We can get 5 sprinklers only. So And the tree's in the way as well. But we do have 30 seeds that I should be really planting. So, shall we do another row down? Let's do it, why not? I'll sell some stuff today to get instant cash. So we already need four. I'm going to need eight sprinklers. We'll do another row. Twelve would be even better if I could do another row. So yeah, that is pretty wild, right? I could even get some more there as well. All right, more pumpkins, more sprinklers. This is huge, guys. We are going big right now. We are going big. I'll check the greenhouse later. Got to water these as well. Quickly. Oh, this wine's done. Nice. Nice, nice. I can just go and sell this quickly as well. And I can move all of this now and extend this bit even further. Oh, it's going to be another busy day. Yep, it's going to be another busy day. And it's already 2 p.m. Oh, my God. Let's take all of this to sell right now. I know normally I'll sell it at the end of the episode, guys. But we're going to sell it today. Because we need the money. <laughs> so let's go see how much money we can get from this. Look at this money. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. It's not going to be enough. Oh, it might not be enough, guys. Will 50 be enough? Oh, that's all we could get today because of the sprinklers. It's still 52 more pumpkins. We might have some left over. We might need more. I don't know. I didn't do the math, so I'm just kind of like guessing at this point. But because I can remove these now, and they are going straight into the shed, we can expand this a little bit. Only going to be a little bit. As you can see, we just got to go up one here. Because we can't get another sprinkler in there. So let's get the speed grow down on these ones. Let's go with these. One, two, three... Four, they are all covered, looking incredible, fantastic. I wish I could cut through here with the shortcut, but we can't. This melon wine's only 12 hours, but that one should be fine. It's not really interfering with anything. And then let's just go straight up. That is all of those. Water, much easier today, much easier. And these are going to be done in 11 days. Yeah, I've got to make sure that it is 11, because that'll be 26, right? These are 10. If any's done in like 12 or... Yeah, that's looking incredible, guys. Really is. Let's go down. Got eight kegs as well to mess around with. Let's go. Got water these. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can even expand a little bit more. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one there. And I think we'll go... In fact, we might not have enough seeds for this. Yeah, we literally might not. 28. I've got to make sure all this is down as well. Can we go all the way across here? Problem is, guys, we've not actually got enough speed grow to go any further. This is the max we'll be able to do. So that's it. It looks like we've got 12 seeds left over that I can't use, but it's fine. But just look at our fields, guys. We've got a lot of pumpkins in here. So once I've watered these, we should actually not take that long. I'll go ahead and check the greenhouse because I think we've got some strawberries that are ready today. And probably all of our pomegranates and stuff. I've got to get the kegs in the greenhouse in the shed as well. And I will never have to water these all the way up until when they are ready. 
We could, I'd love to have got more down here, but we've just not, we haven't got the money for the sprinklers. I've not got enough money to get any speed grow, and I don't think I can plant them tomorrow. It's not going to be enough, right? Because if that's going to be 11 days on the 16th, hold on. Yeah, we probably could get even more, guys, with the money. But we need some money, actually. I don't know if I've got anything to sell in this shed. Right, I think that's all them done. I've got water these up here. Have I got water them? I think they're all done. Right, let's quickly check this. Yeah, these are done as well. Thought they might have been. Eight kegs. Oh, my God. Incredible stuff. Let's get some cranberries, cranberry jelly on there. Get some blueberries as well. And then, obviously, all the pumpkins is going to be used for the pumpkin juice. Which is done in three days. So much better than wine. Juice is a lot faster, right? So, greenhouse time before sleep. We'll sell some stuff that we've got. This is the last day. This was so busy, guys. I'm sorry if it was all over. I was just... Oh, did I water them? Are they watered? I think they are. Yeah, I was literally all over. Here he is. We've expanded. He's taking a little look. He's looking in the shed. He's being... Oh, he's being nosy. He's being nosy. Let's get these quickly. I need the straws today. We do need these. We're running low. Might have to pass out harvesting this if we ain't got enough time, but it's fine. We just need something to put in tomorrow. Oh, obviously, definitely get these as well, because they're maxed out at three today. Whew, time has been very tough for us. We've had so much to do. I'm forgetting to breathe, guys. I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> this has been absolutely carnage. I just need a day to relax. I want it to be raining. I need a fishing day. I just need to relax, do some fishing. This is unbelievable. Can't take my eyes off this game for a second. The minute you do, you're out of the game. I've already made some mistakes. And I hope Pox has made some as well. It can't just be me. I can't tell if there's any strawberries in the ground. I'm sorry, guys. It's so dark. Literally, it's probably a lot darker for me than it is for you. I can't see anything right now. I need to put these in the shipping bin quickly because I need that money. I might pass out here. The play is so friggin' slow. Oh, I'm kind of glad that was over. I've got a headache. That was incredible. We made another 10k though. That might be enough just to get a little bit more seeds to expand at the bottom. But I think we need more than that. I don't think it's going to be enough. But guys, that is the end of this episode. It's a festival day. Oh, all the jelly's still going. We're going strong. And yeah, pumpkins are now sorted. I've got a few to harvest up here that was, which I planted a few days later. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed that tense episode, please smash the like button. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Who do you think is going to win? We're very close. Winter's going to be just one of those kind of seasons where we just pump out the days, get all the produce, you know, brewing, preserving. There's not really nothing we can do in the fields outside. Yeah, it's going to be a race to the finish line. Subscribe if you haven't guys, stick around for the next episode, every Monday and Thursday, there's 20 in total, I believe this is episode, oh actually, I don't even know, I've lost track, my mind's all over, but thanks for watching, <laughs> see you soon guys.